जय राधा माधव कुंज बिहारी हमारा कुंज बिहार जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर दारी जय गोपी जन वल्लभ गिरिवर दारी ऐशोदानंदन व्रज जान रंजना आनंदन व्रज जान रंजना यमुनति रावन चारी यमुन रावन चार हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे 
रे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जय राम 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 राधे राम राम जय कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम कृष्ण बल राम जय कृष्ण बल राम बल जय गौरनिता जय गौरनिता गौरनिता जय गौरनिता गौरनिताय जय गौरने जय जय प्रभु पार प्रभु पार प्रभु पार प्रभु पार प्रभु प्रभु ओम विष्णु पाल परम सुपरिवराज का आचार्य अष्टोत्तर तत्स्त्र श्रीमद अभय चरण अरविंद भक्ति वेदांत स्वाम श्रीलोपाल की समस्त गौरव भक्त वृंद की निताय गौर प्रेमानंदे ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोतम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जया मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायद्रेशु नि भागवत सेवया भगवत्युतम श्लोके भक्ति नैष्टी हरे कृष्ण सै वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर टुडे भक्ति वैभव क्लास सो एस्टे वी डिस्कस्ड so fifth canto chapter 8 chapter 8 is over so today we are going to start chapter 9 okay and uh, so saturday will be having class yes saturday is class will be there 15 exam one day is enough 15 and 16 okay so 17 we have um, okay 6 7 another actually another 7 days i need to finish till 15 chapter within 7 days i'll finish they by this month ending most probably will finish fifth canto 
fifty grand will be finished. Today we are going to discuss about Jada Bharat. This is simply a story, and it's not having any much commentary. It's a story and purpose. We'll go through like that. Sri Sukha Uvacha, ninth chapter, the supreme characteristics of Jada Bharat. Atha kasya chit dvijavarasya angira pravarasya shamadhama tapa swadhyaya dhyayana tyaga santosha titiksha prashraya vidya anasu yatma gnana ananda yukta syatma sadrusha shruta sila charu Rupa Rupa Udarya Guna Nava Sodarya Angaja Babuhu Mitunamcha Yavi Yasyam Bharya Yam Yastu Tatra Pumanstam Parama Bhagavatam Rajarship Pravaram Bharatam Utrustam Utrustam Rugasharirum Charama Shari Rena Vipratvam Gatamahuhu So Translation, Srila Sukadev Goswami continued, My dear King, after giving up the body of deer, Bharat Maharaj took birth in a very pure Brahmana family. There was a Brahmana who belonged to the dynasty of Angira. He was fully qualified with Brahmanical qualifications. He could control his mind and senses and he had studied the Vedic literatures and other subsidiary literatures. He was expert in giving charity and he was always satisfied, tolerant, very gentle, learned and non-envious. He was self-realized and engaged in devotional service of the Lord. He remained always in trance. He had nine equally qualified sons by his first wife and by his second wife, he begot twins, a brother and a sister, of which the male child was said to be the topmost devotee and foremost of saintly kings, Bharat Maharaj. This then is the story of the birth he took after giving up the body of a deer. So in the previous class, we discussed that Bharat Maharaj got the body of deer because he was thinking of deer and he left his body. So that deer took in the form of deer, he took in the place Kalanjar. In the Kalanjar, it is a place in the Madhya Pradesh. So he took, uh, got a body of a deer. Then, but what is the great thing happened? He was able to remember the, so all the past. So being a Maharaj, Bharat Maharaj, so he got attachment for dear and that's why he got this body everything is because of the mercy of the lord able to remember so then once again he left his hometown that is kalanjar and he went back to the the original place polasya ashram polasya ashram polakya polakya ashram there and he came there and he was not at all so behaving like other deers so he is not at all interested in mating eating and defending so he's simply sitting and so whatever dry leaves are available there, here and there, so he was eating those. So like this, he was just always remembering Krishna and he was eager to leave this body. Why he was eager? Just to so get the another body, that's a human body to serve the Lord. So just he was eager to this material body, this dear body. So like that, by the end, so he left his body. Then after that, what happened? 
so after leaving that dear body bharat maharaj took birth in in a brahmana family that brahmana is very nice brahmana very so payas brahmana dija varaha is the best among the brahmanas is it is belonging to the dynasty of angira so angira angira pravarasya that means he is so he came in the dynasty of the great saint angira okay and that brahmana is very much controlled self controlled person he controlled his senses and mind he was doing the austerities he was doing the so reading the vedas scriptures so like that and he had two wives that brahmana was having two wives and elder wife in elder wife he got nine sons and on the younger wife in younger wife he got one so mithunam mithunam means juduva so twins he got twins in that one is boy and another is girl so boy's name is that boy is nothing but our so bharat maharaj he is jada bharat so jada bharat took so that means he is juduva juduva that means twin twin brother and sisters so purport bharat maharaj was a great devotee but he didn't attain success in one life so in bhagavad gita it is said that a devotee who doesn't fulfill his devotional duties in one life is given to given the chance to born born in a fully qualified brahmana family or rich kshatriya or so vaishya family suchinam shunvatam kehe so how how we should understand so bharat maharaj when he was in the dear body so at that time at the end of the life he was remembering krishna and why i got this dear body and he was remembering krishna but at the end of the life ante narayana smriti at the end of the life he was remembering krishna but why he didn't go back to home why he got once again jadavrata body tell me why he got okay when he was bharat maharaj so at that time he was remembering the dear so that's why he got the dear body yam yam vaapi smaran bhavante jityante kalevara based upon that he got the dear body but when he was in dear so at that time he was remembering krishna and he should go back to the krishna but he didn't get he didn't go back to the krishna then why hmm what is the reason but he was devotee he was pure devotee write the question i forgot to give it. so establish bharat maharaj is is a pure devotee so you have to take that 5.7.6 take the few points from that and also some other sections prashpadev's teachings that when rishabadev was giving the teachings to his son sons he was saying that bharat maharaj was a pure devotee so you all should follow him that point so like that you should pick up the in the whole chapter that means in the 5 6 7 3 chapters so from the 5 point that means shrimad bhagavatam 5th canto 5th chapter 6th chapter and 7th chapter so you ref- and also 8th chapter so take from all these chapters so you should establish bharat maharaj is a pure devotee marks will be the 10 marks at least 10 solid points you should write so for example when he was doing the yagyas how he was doing from the yagyas you should understand that he was doing yagna then by doing that yagna so his his bhakti is covered by the karma or not his bhakti is covered by karma or not his bhakti is covered by karma means then he is not a pure devotee gnana karma adi avrutam means finished condition failed so how to establish his bhakti is not covered by the karma how to establish this how we did establish ah his bhakti is not covered by the karma ah, tell me while doing when he was doing karma that is yagya Hmm. so he was remembering the krishna and the vishnu just like the limb of the lord so this not separate demigods independent demigods of offering this not going to just like when indra swaha 
so it is what's in lord's arm in rise yeah. arm of the lord yeah okay. this is one point and also one more point is so when he was doing the karma so what is the condition you want to say but uh, not as did that karma by uh. others and for the sake of others ah uh, when bharat maharaj did the tavat karmani kurvita what it is saying so it is according to this if anyone do karma for others for others by others then that is not going to cover the subhakti so this is the point you should establish actually so but that is when i ask with the commentary there you will establish but here to establish bharatamara as a pure devotee you don't need to write the entire commentary but only should select the points from there so from this you should establish that according to the anya bilasha sunyam gnana karma dena avrutam his bhakti is not covered by the karma and also he doesn't have the desire for the results of the karma so those points only should so just to see that the bharatamara's so devotion is pure devotion that much only should take care don't explain the, the total commentary once again and you should refer the many places if you go to the according to the opinion of rishabade uh, rishabade also should see already he said he is a pure devotee according to the opinion of sukadev goswami should see and the way he behaved in the so forest that also you should see first two parts you should explain in the kingdom when he was there how he was doing the activities so those activities are all pure devotees devotional activities only his bhakti is not covered by the karma that also you should establish and also when you uh, see the life of the so bharat maharaj in forest in the forest also his life is is doing the trying to do pure devotion only and whatever the attraction he got that also you should establish it is not due to the previous karma but it is because of the lords it is because of lords arranged karma that is a sobhanam karma sobhanam karma so that and because of what is the intention that is because of sweet will of the lord so lord has given this special karma to him so that he get the material attraction and so his eagerness to do bhakti will increase so like that uh, you have to and also you should establish so people who are in the bhava and some shlokas are there which are explaining that bharat maharaj so when he performed the yagya so all his heart is filled with the the tears of ocean of the tears and those were coming out his heart is completely purified so like this very systematically you should write this is important question <clears throat> uh, so 10 marks you should okay now you don't mix bharat maharaj and jada bharat i am asking only bharat maharaj so i will ask once again jada bharat actually because the story of jada bharat is different from here onwards we will discuss as yes, jada bharat actually okay yeah it is other life uh, uh, until dear body you should uh, jada bharat is different of course he is also bharat maharaj only but so this is another case so now what happened next so he took birth in the brahmana family so did he become a vedic scholar or not so that we have to see how he behaved in that family so how he continued his devotion so that we have to see so next so okay parapata uh, parapata is done next next shloka तत्रापि स्वजन संगाच बृशम उद्विजमानो भगवतः कर्मबंध विद्वंसन श्रवण स्मरण गुण विवरण चरणारविंद युगल मनसा विदध विदध विदधात्म प्रतिघात आशंकमानो भगवदनुग्रहेणास्मृत स्व पूर्वजन्मवलीत्म उन्मत्त जड़ांद बधिर स्वरूपेण दर्शयामास लोकस्या ट्रांसलेशन ड्यू टू हिज बीइंग एस्पेशली एस्पेशली गिफ्टेड विद द लॉर्ड्स मेर्सी 
Bharata Maharaj could remember the incidents of his past life. Although he received the body of a Brahmana, he was still very much afraid of his relatives and friends who were not devotees. He was always very cautious of such association because he feared that he could again fall down. Consequently, he maintained himself before the public eyes as a madman, dull, blind, and deaf, deaf, so that others would not try to talk to him. In this way, he saved himself from the bad association. Within, he was always thinking of the lotus feet of the Lord and chanting the Lord's glories, which save one from the bondage of fruit to action. In this way, we have he saved himself from onslaught of non devotee association associates so he is fear of once again bad association what is that sloka nectar of instruction so huh 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 hey uh that's a nectar of instruction that what is that? Beginning? Atyahara Prayasasya Janasang Prajarabhu Niamagrasa Janasangasya Lolyamcha Shadbir Bhakti Vinashati. So that means by these six kinds of the so things, one's devotion will be is 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 stagnated, it is stopped actually. <coughs> So there will be no progress in the devotion. That is that Janasangaha. Janasangaha means associating with the non-devotees. So this point, we can learn this is. So how association of the non-devotees will be effective bhakti, we can understand from the story of Bharata Maharaj. That means to not to associate too much with the non-devotees, Bharata Maharaj, now in the form of Jada Bharata, acted like a dull, blind and a deaf man, like a madman. If he behaves normally, then what will happen? Then everyone will be giving respect and so people will be so engaging him in many non-devotional activities. So to be faithful and happy, so in the devotion, so he acted like a madman. Every living entity is bound by different activities due to association with the modes of nature. As stated in Bhagavad Gita, Karmanam Guna Sangasya Sadasad Yoni Jarmasu. This is due to his association with the with that material nature. Thus he meets with good and evil among various species. We get different types of bodies among 84 lakh species of according to our karma. Okay. Tasya pihava atma jasya vipraha putras nehanu bhatta mana asa ma vartanat samskaran yathopadesham vidadhan upanitasya chapanaha saucha chamanadin karma neman anavipretan ati samasiksha yad anu sishtena hi bhavyam pitu putreneti. The Brahmana father's mind was always filled with affection for his son, Jadabharata. Therefore, he was always attached to Jadabharata. Because Jadabharata was unfit to enter the Grihastha Ashram, he simply executed the purificatory process up to the end of the 
Brahmacharya Ashram. Although Jadabharata was unwilling to accept his father's instruction, the Brahmana nonetheless instructed him in how to keep clean and how to wash, thinking that the son should be taught by the father. Actually, Jadabharata from the day one, he is not a good scholar. Even he is a Brahmana boy, but not at all interested in studying. And his father was trying to so, do all the samskaras. But Jadabharata was not performing very nicely. So when then who will give you a girl? If boy is not so nicely trained and not having the good job and not able to, Brahmana means he should be doing the patan patan, yajan yajan, dana pratigruhanati. So these activities. But he is not at all good in this. So then what the problem is? So he is not successful in his studies. He was not. He, that means it's difficult for him to get enter into the Grihastashram. So that's why after the Brahmachari, next will be that Vivaha Samskara. Vivaha is also one of the Samskara, purificatory process. And about that Vivaha Samskara, other Samskaras are not. So Garbhadana Samskara, so many other Samskaras didn't happen actually. So, so that's why what happened finally. So he was remained as a Brahmachari. And his father was very much worried because he was not able to do basic activities. Basic cleaning also he doesn't know. Doesn't know means he knows everything, but he is acting like that. <coughs> Jadabharata was Bharata Maharaj in the body of Brahmana and he outwardly conducted himself as if he were dull, deaf, dumb and blind. Actually, he was quite alert within. He knew perfectly well the results of fruitive activity and the results of devotional service. In the body of Brahmana Maharaj, Bharat was completely absorbed in devotional service within. Therefore, it was not at all necessary for him to execute the regulative principles of fruitive activity. Because main problem is, is what? So why he is acting like that? Because if he performs nicely, all the relatives also will come into picture. Uh, then relative says, oh, nicely studying this Brahmana. So I will give my daughter to him. I will give my daughter to him. Then people will keep on just running behind him. And so much expectation from the others and competition, enviousness. But now he is a dull and dumbo. By seeing him, everyone simply reject. Hat. So finish. Finish. There will be no further entanglement with anyone actually. So Rashpadev already said, na, so because of the wife, children, so knot will become very strong, double knot, triple knot, four knots, five knots, will, knot will become more and more strong actually. One knot itself we are not, not able to open, then you should open another four knots, it's very difficult actually. This knot will become more and more tight, so by not if you are giving the more and more knots. So Hrudaya Grandhi will become more and more strong. So, remembering all this, Bharata Maharaj is very much alert from the day one. So, there is a big difference, he knows. Uh, but what about other nine brothers? Other nine brothers are very expert in the Karmakanda. But this man is not at all interested. He is expert in the so, Gnana Kanda. As confirmed in the Srimad Bhagavatam, Sonashtita Siddharma Sasan Siddhir Hari One has to satisfy Hari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So, Dharma Sunishtita Pumsa. So, Prabhupada is writing the Karmakanda, ultimate goal of Karmakanda is what? Satisfying the Hari and so doing the Karmaharpanam for the pleasing the Lord. So, that is leading to Bhakti, Bhakti and Shraddha. So, that is the goal actually. Consequently, he didn't execute all regulative principles. Similarly, Haridas Thakur was born in a Mohammedan family from the very beginning. Of his life, he was never trained in the Karmakanda system, but because he was always chanting holy name of the Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, accepted him as Namacharya, the authority in chanting the holy name. As Jadabharata, Bharata Maharaj was always engaged in the devotional service with his in mind. That means Bharata Maharaj is Jadabharata is always meditating on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So these points you should remember huh, to establish. Bharat, Jada Bharata is, is pure devotee. Okay? So what is the definition of pure devotion? Doing direct devotion 24 hours for the pleasure of the Lord. 
this is the another way of expressing the with favorable mood so doing 24 hours uh, doing 24 hours direct devotion with favorable mood for pleasing the lord it is also known as pure devotion service so you have to see so any points are said about the jadabharata so then come collect all those then that will be the answer to establish so jadabharata is a pure devotee okay next sachapi taduha pitru samnidhave va sadri chinam iva asma karoti chan chandham sadhya paishyan sah vyahruti bihi sapranav sir stripadhim savitrim graishma vasantikanya sana vasantikan masan adhiyamanam api asame vaita roopam grahaya masa jadavarta behave before his father like a fool despite his father's adequately instructing him in vedic knowledge he behaved in that way so that his father would know know that he was unfit for instruction and would abandon the attempt to instruct him further he would behaved in completely opposite way although instructed to wash his hands after evacuating he would wash them before nonetheless his father wanted to give him vedic instructions during the spring and summer he tried to teach him the gayatri mantra along with the omkara and vyahruti but after four months his father still was not successful in instructing him what is this actually jadabharata is very uh, intelligent actually and he wants to so describe his father to teach further and his father is trying to ask any for any child what is the first teachings will be giving how to etiquettes this is basic cleaning so things cleaning activities we teach so for him his father is teaching so whenever you go for evacuation you should wash your hands and you should wash your body but what he does first he will wash his hands exactly opposite he will do he will wash his hands and evacuate and after that whatever coming and eating sitting with everyone so he will be doing all exactly opposite whatever his father says exactly opposite he does and his father is trying to teach him gayatri mantra and he took four months actually chaitram so vaishakam after that huh? jayeshta ashada so these four months even four months he didn't learn gayatri mantra because after learning upanayana samskara gayatri mantra only one will be entering into the vedas first one should be properly doing the sandhya vandan so three times nicely so uttering the gayatri mantra this should be done first of all and jadavarata took four months but he was not able to finish the gayatri mantra learning of gayatri mantra then his father tie that means from the shravanam he wants to start the veda part and he was not his father's plan is everything is failed he was not able to start the so veda adhyayanam veda part in and shravanam mass generally in the shravan mass they start schools so this is the condition evam swa tanuja atman yanuraga veshita chitta shaucha adhyayana vrata niyama gurvanala shushana dyopakurvanaka karmanyana bhi yuktanyapi samanushishthena bhavyam ityasadagraha putra manushasya swayam tavad anadigata manorathah kalena apramattena swayam gruha eva pramattah upasamhrutah so his father was endeavoring many times many times many times the brahmana father of jadabharata considered his son his heart and soul because generally parents they have love for the weak child his other nine brothers they are very intellectual and they were learning in like anything and they became expert in karmakanda and they started earning money that means started getting the dakshana but this jadavarata is even gayatri mantra he couldn't learn 
So then what to speak of Veda part? So that's why his father was having so much affection for him because Jadabharata is so dull, so he is trying to teach him so much and giving so much time for him. Hmm? So he thought it wise to educate his son properly and being absorbed in this unsuccessful endeavor, he tried to teach his son the rules and regulations of Brahmacharya, including execution of Vedic vows, cleanliness, study of Vedas, the regulative methods, service to the spiritual master and the method of offering a fire sacrifice. He tried his best to teach his son in this way. That means all these so subject matters he tried to teach, but all his endeavors failed. In his heart, he hoped that his son would be a learned scholar, but all his attempts were unsuccessful. Like everyone, this Brahmana was attached to his home and he had forgotten that someday he would die. So his father completely forgot and endeavoring every day, every day he's making new plans to teach Bajadavara something. All the teaching techniques he applied, but finally he failed. So but also he forgot, he is reaching to the death. He was having so much affection for the Jadavarat. And what happened? At the proper time, death appeared and took him away. Finished. <clears throat> Next. Atha evi asi dvija sati svagarbha jatam mitunam sapatnya upanyasya swayam anusansthaya Pati Loka Magat. In previously, Sati Sahagamanam is there. Sati Sahagamanam. That means when Pati leaves, Sati also goes along with him to serve him. So thereafter, the Brahmana's younger wife, after entrusting her twin children, the boy and girl, the other, the uh, girl to the older wife, elder wife, departed for Pitruloka voluntarily dying with her husband. Brahmana left his body and he had two wives. So one anger wife, that means Jadabharata is, is a son of the anger wife. So that's why this anger wife, she gave this twin, so twin children to, twin children to the elder wife and she also entered in the fire to give company to his, to her husband. So Pitur Yuparate Bratara Enam Atat Prabhava vidastrayam vidyam eva paryava sita matayo na paravidyam jadamatir iti bratur anushasana nirbandhan yavruta santa. So, Radha Gordhan Pu, can you read? Translation. Hare Krishna. After the father died, the nine step brothers of Jadavarat, who considered Jadavarat dull and brainless, abandoned the father's attempt to give Jadavarat a complete education. The step brothers of Jadavarat were learned in the three Vedas, the Rig Ved, Sam Ved, and Yajur Ved, which very much encouraged protein activity. The nine brothers were not at all spiritually enlightened in devotional service to the Lord. Consequently, they could not understand the highly exalted position of Jadavarat. Yeah. After his father, so other brothers, nine brothers, Jadavarata's brothers, they didn't take care of him. They were expert in the Karmakanda, but they are not expert in devotional service. Sparavidyam. In Bhakti Sandra, we used this. So, can anyone remember this? This text came somewhere. Where? To establish what? Huh? Adhisthana Devata. Achha. Nine point. Huh? 58. Huh? Fifty-eight. 
लाया नहीं लाया मैं भक्ति सुंदर अच्छा नहीं लाया अच्छा दिस वो यूज एक्चुअली टू एस्टाब्लिश धर्म इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दि परा विद्या अच्छा कैरेक्ट ए क्वेश्चन टू मार्क्स एस्टाब्लिश धर्म इज different from bhakti dharma in the bracket you write karma yes in an yesterday's class also we established that the same way in a bhakti sandarbha class so me here also you can here what his brothers they are expert in paravidya sorry they are expert in the so what which vidya trayam vidya traigunya vishaya veda that means in the karma kanda they are expert and that's but jadbharata is expert in para vidya that's why so since they are not expert if karma kanda and para vidya are same and if there is no difference then they should know the glories of jada bharata also they were not able to identify the the magnanimous qualities of the jada bharata means it is it is clearly establishing that whatever their education is there that education is not teaching the so qualities of the person who are is practicing para vidya that is establishing para vidya is different from the so so traigunya vidya that is nothing but karma that is establishing karma is different from the bhakti samajh mein aaya nahi aaya ha jada bharata this is okay jadavarata is expert in where in para vidya what is meaning of para vidya is bhakti and brothers nine brothers they are expert in trai trayam means yeah they are expert in karma kanda here what is that they are not able to understand they are not able to understand they means this nine brothers 
not able to understand position of jadabharata so that means what whatever if they this education is this karma kanda is covering paravidya also includes the paravidya also then they could have understood the position of the jadabharata they couldn't understand means whatever their scholarship is there in the karma kanda is different from the paravidya so that's a, what is your question establish karma is different from uh, with is different from paravidya this is a question That means after his father's death, these nine brothers completely neglected Jadavarat. They didn't try to teach him anything because they understood that this is a dumbo, brainless, dull, and that's why they abandoned him. But they are earning nicely money and enjoying their life. They had the wives because they are doing the so karma kanda. नेक्स्ट सच प्राकृत द्विपद पशुभिन्मत्तजंदीर मूका मूकेत्यभाष्यो यदा तनुपी प्रभाषते कर्मा च कार्यम परेच्छया करोति विष्टि वेतन तो वाच्या यदृछया ओपादितम बहु मृष्ट कदन्न पाभ्यवरहति परम नेन्द्रिय प्रीति निमित्त नित्य निवृत्ति निमित्त स्वसिद्ध विशुद्धानुभवानंद स्वात्मलाभादिगम स्वदुखोर्द्वंद्व निमित्तोरसंभावित देहभिम शीतोष्णवात वर्षेशु वृष इवा अनावृतांग पीनः संहननांग संडिल संवेशना उन्मर्दना उन्मर्दनमज्जना रजस महामणिवान्यक्त ब्रह्म वर्चस को कुपटावृत कटिपनी उपवी उपवीतने उपवीतेनोर मशिणा द्विजातिरिति ब्रह्मबंधुरी संज्ञा संज्ञयाता संज्ञया तज तस्न जना अवमत विचार सो हि वॉज नॉट नौ स्कूल इज ओवर जडबरत स्कूल इज ओवर हिज फादर लेफ्ट हिज बॉडी सो जडबरत स्कूल इज ऑलसो ओवर नो बॉडी इज देर टू टेक केयर नो जडबरत इज कंप्लीटली फ्री दट इज ही वॉन्टेड एक्चुअली देन वॉट हाउ हिज फा ब्रदर्स डेल्ट हिम दट इज बींग एक्सप्लॉन्ड सोसाइटी दट इज सेड हियर degraded men are actually no better than animals the only difference is that animals have four legs and such men have only two the whole society is like materialistic people are nothing but what two legged animals so these two legged animals animalistic men used to call jadavarata mad dull deaf and dumb so like that they mistreated him and jadabharata behaved for them like a madman who was deaf blind or dull he didn't protest to try to convince them that he was not so a mook a dumbo a blind whatever he call, the anyone calls one whatever way he used to respond yes if others wanted him to do something he acted according to their desires if anyone ask him to so you carry this five 
50 kgs back to here to there yes he will just put on his head and is going he never say no to anyone so whatever food he could acquire by begging or by wages and whatever came of its own accord be it a small quantity palatable stale or tasteless he would accept and eat so after carrying that bag if they give something so two days three days back whatever the rice or something some food which is is is, is, is stinked and is is tasteless stale he will accept that and he will eat if someone without that means sometimes they they used to they don't give anything also they used to not to give anything then he will not say anything he will go away and he is standing and begging so if anyone is giving anything begging means he just going like re pagal la jao so come come so if if they call and if they give something he will eat otherwise just like a <laughs> standing <laughs> standing and in between by that time someone is calling come 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 so you push this bullock cart then he will go and push so whatever they say they will he will he used to follow he never he is realized soul he is always thinking about the supreme lord in his heart but he doesn't have any so he completely liberated from his body and completely liberated from all these things and no social customs and yohara because he doesn't want to be entangled by once again in this society he would accept and die hey, the people were mistreating the jad bharat so my question is that i just like rishab they also was was mistreated by peoples yeah. so that means they were committing offense so yeah. there so much offense na no? yes so it was offense was considered or not no yes offense will although be uh, he was pure devotion was covered and he was not a pure devotee appears yes. so but they are uh, treating as well as somebody serving him so yeah. also they are getting sukriti also no? yes Yeah. so he he never ate anything for sense gratification because he was already liberated from the bodily conception so which induce one to accept palatable or unpalatable food he was full in transcendental consciousness of devotional service and therefore he was unaffected by the dualities arising from the bodily conception actually his body was as strong as strong as bulls jadavartha's body is like a big body lot of big big muscles and very strong and stout and full his uh, his chest is very strong and, and thighs are very big big thighs and full that means with full energy is it and he didn't care for winter and or summer even rain is raining but he never used to run and go and take any someone shelter no in winter also he is just lying on the road wherever that means in the previously there will be some guest houses actually free free vasati griham for the guests so he used to stay in there staying there actually, somewhere just lying what kind of dress he is wearing you can see here he lay never covered his body at any time he lay on the ground and never smeared oil on his body or took a bath no bathing also nothing so he woke up and so anyone calls him he will go there and whatever work they give he will do and whatever they give he takes that's all or otherwise if someone gives something throw on his face then he will take that because of his body was dirty his spiritual effulgence and knowledge were covered just as the splendor of a valuable gem is covered by dirt he only wore a dirty loin cloth and his scared uh, sacred thread which was blackish completely <laughs> that is sacred thread open agnopavet is fully filled with all the mud became black and also wearing the one small gamcha and that is also so much dirty 
he only wore the dirty okay understanding that he was born in a brahmana family because he was wearing thread na people used to see people would call him a hey, brahma bandhu and other names they used to tease him no sanjavandan no upanay nothing no nitya naimiti karma everything out that means sarva dharman parityajya mamekam sharanam vraja is always remembering krishna in his heart only krishna no rituals no brother no bhabhi bhaiya kuch nahi nothing so sri narottam das thakur has sung deha smriti nahi yara samsara bandhana kahana tara one who has no desire to maintain the body or who is not anxious to keep the body in order and who is satisfied in any condition must be either mad or liberated actually bharat maharaj in his birth as jada bharata was completely liberated from material realities he was a paramahamsa and therefore didn't care for bodily comfort like avanti brahman you all know eleven he is also same <laughs> so greedy first of all then after that he learned so much so from his greediness so finally like jada bharata and rishabadev yada tu parata aharam karma vetanata ihamanah sa bratru bir api केदार कर्मणि निरूपितस्तदपि करोति किन्तु न समं विषमं न्यूनम अधिकम इति वेद गण पिण्याक फलीकरण कुलमश स्थाली पुरीशादीन अपि अमृतवत अव्यवह अव्य वहरति हाउ हिज ब्रदर्स ट्रीटेड हिम दैट इज बीइंग एक्सप्लेन हियर jadabharata used to work only for food he not saving any money give me money so i will save and i will get married nothing only for money he is working only for food brahmachari also should be like that kya mana che theek brahmachari also should live for not for money brahmacharis means renounced they should not take any money and they should not save any money okay so temple has to take care his step brothers took advantage of this everyone ah free labor mil gaya so free labor we got free labor and engage him in agricultural field in exchange for some food actually brahmanas were given with the fields actually in the ancient days they were also having the fields because kings when brahmana is doing the porohityam or some worship in the temples so those will be given brahmanas are given by the fields from the kings so that's why these brothers are having the fields and generally they give that to the vaishya or the sudras to engage sudras to do the work but now why we they have to engage sudra because they have to give money so now they thought that jadabharata is good so we can engage him freely but actually he didn't know how to work <laughs> because he is not expert in this also <laughs> in the field actually you should level the field <laughs> then only the water will be properly distributed otherwise what will happen so wherever the what there is no water if the level is high water will not be there and the crop will dry die there so that's why first of all they should level he doesn't know how to level it <laughs> wherever there is height is there he will make more height that <laughs> wherever down is there he will make more down <laughs> actually knows everything but if he does everything nicely then what he will do then people will understand who oh, is a nice person <laughs> and they keep on engaging they will give at engagement continuously that only then there is a problem then he will get promotion <laughs> once again from that and next 
then next this is happening actually in our life we do something very perfectly then people will give appreciation by that appreciation we will become more happy and do more expertly and more attentively more responsibly then you will get more and more increments so but that that is ultimately leading to what is completely leading to a entanglement material so life expanded material life so then you will get lot of security safety very qualified brahma brahmacharis also get the problem nicely finish the phd sen you can get job any time anywhere and you can do anything <laughs> yes sir <no? laughs> but brahmacharis who are not at all qualified and they are simply dependent on the uh, krishna and good actually that's also good they should not worry about that because there will be no maya much maya even mata ji also they don't like him because he is not qualified he doesn't have money then nobody will be competing for him are pon dambu to dusra tisra padhaya kiya dusra kai tisra kaksha padhaya to he studied only third class second class so what is the use so don't they will not see us it's good is good for the spiritual life but so what they used to do he didn't know where to spread dirt or where to make the ground level or uneven his brothers used to give him broken rice but what he used to give whatever is in that house so generally rice so two types of rice if you usko kya bolte hain using chani so if you do that then broken rice will be uh separated so they used to give the broken rice to him oil cakes for the cows and for the buffaloes generally we give the oil cakes once oil is removed that's a dried will be there dried material that they used to give to him by eating that he will be more strong <laughs> he will be more and more strong. because that is digesting that is very difficult but if someone digested means he will become like a bull <laughs> definitely <laughs> so he became even more and more strong so he used to take that oil cakes the chaff of rice that means burnt rice warm eaten grains brown burnt grains that has stuck to the pot so whatever that means sometimes uh, rice if you cook so uh, sometimes it is burnt and the total that layer is completely burnt layer you will be getting that they used to give madjakalo madjakalo no madipoyin madchakalo so they used to give to that to him but he gladly accepted all this as if it were nectar because he was not at all having any aversion for his brothers because he is utterly liberated huh we all also should be get liberated like this otherwise if you have vikara in the heart no entry for golok no entry aisa easy hai kya ac chahiye ye chahiye wo chahiye nahi to halla karenge hartal brahmachari hartal ala de ye har to kahan jayenge एसी रूम जाएंगे अच्छा इफ यू हैव डिमांड्स देन यू विल बी एट द वन स्टेज यू हैव टू कम टू दिस लेवल अदरवाइज नो नो एंट्री फॉर दस इंटरनल कॉन्शियसनेस शुड बी लाइक दैट कंप्लीटली लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम द मेटीरियल सो ड्यूलिटीज he didn't hold any grudges and ate all this very gladly so purport the platform of arahamsa is described in bhagavad gita sam dukkha dhiram somr tatvaya kalpate when one is class to all duality the happiness and distress of this material world one is fit for amrutatva eternal life bharat maharaj was determined to finish his business in this material world and he didn't at all care for the world of duality 
He was complete in Krishna consciousness and was obvious to good and evil, happiness and distress. As stated in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Dvaite Bhadra Bhadra Nana Shabda Mano Dharma E Bhala E Manda Sabha Brahma. In the material world, conception of good and bad are all mental speculations. Therefore, saying this is good and this is bad is all a mistake. That's why guna dosha. You see in our diagram, so in the, that's a circle, karmi circle and karmamishra bhaktas. They will be having the guna dosha. In the jnana, there is no guna dosha. And in the bhakti, ananya bhakti, there is no guna dosha. They don't see any guna dosha. This is good, this is bad, is not there. They will be, everything they see, it is the, is the energy of the Lord. Everything they see in the connection of the Lord. So, that is a very highly elevated position. Atha, next. So, in devotional life, in the devotional practicing of devotional life, one has to reach to this consciousness. He has to abhor to the dualities. He has to be abhor to the guna and dosha. Otherwise, there is no entry. Atha kada chit kaschit urushala patir badra kalyai purusha pashum alaba prashum pashum ala Pashumala bha ta patya kamaha. Translation At this time, being desirous of, desirous of obtaining son, a leader of decoys who came from a Sudra family wanted to worship the goddess Badrakali by offering her in sacrifice a dull man. So, who is considered no better than an animal? So, what happened one time? Some Urshalapati. Urshalapati means he is the king of or leader of Sudras. So that means they do generally plundering and so stealing these kind of things. And that person wanted a child. So for that, he wanted to give a sacrifice, Bali. So he wanted to so sacrifice a, a man in front of Kali Maya. So, for that, he, they want to find a man now. Tasyaha daiva muktasya pashoho padamim tadanucharaha paridhavanto nishi nishita samaye tamasavrutayam anadigata pasavaha akasmin akasmikena vidhina kedaran virasanena murga varaha dibyaha samrakshamanam angira pravara sotam apashan. So what happened? They were searching for a man to give a sacrifice in front of Kali. The leader of the decoys captured a man animal for sacrifice. That means a person. They already found a man. He's like an animal. They want to give sacrifice of that man. But he escaped. And the leader ordered his followers to find him. They ran in different directions but couldn't find him. Wandering here and there in the middle of the night, covered by dense darkness, they came to Paddy Field, where they saw the exalted son of the Angira family, that means Jadabharata, who was sitting in an elevated place, guarding the field against the attacks of deer and wild pigs. The Jadabharata was sitting on a, like you see in the fields, to protect the fields, so they will make a, some high stand actually. So on that they will be sitting and watching if an animal is animal is coming and they will be having the what is this you say? Kulahadi, huh? Gulla, something. In English, what they say? Cling. Something. They use. So they throw stones like this. And also in the previous days, they will be having another kind of system. There is a, on uh, one side there will you can put a stone. And just you can uh, like this, so rotate it and leave it. Then leaving means just do something, then that will open and only stone will go. And this kind of system also was there. 
so jadavarata is very strong man and bodybuilder is sitting on the <laughs> on that high place and these people saw wow this is the right person he, this man is the right person for sacrifice kali maya will become very happy if we give sacrifice of this man and they thought <laughs> so he was because his brothers engaged him so to uh, protect the fields from the deer and pigs so he is standing there sitting there atata enam anavadya lakshanam avamrushya bartru karma nishpattim manyamana badva rashanaya chandika gruha gruham upaninyuhu muda vikasita vadanaha vadanaha the followers and servants of the decoy chief considered jadabharata to possess qualities quite suitable for a man animal and they, that means jadabharata is really perfect man animal because he is suitable for the sacrifice they thought like that and they decided that he was a perfect choice for sacrifice their faces bright with happiness they bound him with ropes and brought him to the temple of the goddess kali jadabharata is not at all opposing so they are putting that means uh, so they are tying his hands and pushing then he simply happily so followed them he was not at all having any so problem for this in some so purport in some parts of india animalistic men are still sacrificed before the goddess kali however such a sacrifice is only performed by sudras and dacoits their business is to plunder the wealthy and to become successful they offer an animalistic man before the goddess kali it should be noted that they never sacrifice an intelligent man before the goddess in the body of a brahmana bharata maharaj appeared deaf and dumb that he was the most intelligent man in the world so actually generally whom they will give sacrifice animalistic man means a person who is like a un, who is not intelligent and who is not a so wise man so such a person is only sacrificed nonetheless being completely surrendered unto the supreme personality of god had he remained in that condition and didn't protest being brought before the deity for slaughter as we have learned from the previous verses he was very strong and could have very easily avoided being bound with ropes so jadabharata could have fight fought with them and one shot is enough for to kill the one person but but he didn't up, uh, opposed anyone actually he simply defend defended on the supreme person depended on the supreme personality of godhead for his protection sila bhakti vinod thakura describes surrendering surrender to the supreme lord in this way marabi rakhabi yo ichha tohara nitya dasa prati tuya adhikara so my lord i am now surrendered unto you i am your eternal servant and if you like you can kill me or if you like you can protect me in any case i am fully surrendered unto you ata panayastam sva vidina bishichya hatena vasasachadya bhushana lepasthak tilakadi birupa skrutam buktavantam dupadeepamalya laj ಕಿಸಲಯಾಂಕುರ ಫಲೋಪಹಾರೋಪೇತಯ ವೈಶಸ ಸಂಸ್ಥೆಯ ಮಹತ ಗೀತಸ್ತುತಿ ಮೃದಂಗ ಪಣವ ಘೋಷೇಣ ಚ ಪುರುಷ ಪಶು ಭದ್ರಕಾಲ್ಯ ಪುರ ಉಪವೇಶಯಾಸು ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ದಿ ದಿ ಟುಕ್ ಜಡಭರತ ಟು ದೇ ಸೊ ಗಾಡಿಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಟು ದ ಟೆಂಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡಿಸ್ ಕಾಲಿ then after that what they did with him after this all the thieves according to their imaginative ritual for killing animalistic men bethr jadabharata after many days jadabharata got the bathing because he was not bathed till now <laughs> dressed him in a new clothes that's his dirty clothes was removed out and a new clothes were given to him wow and decorated him with ornaments 
befitting an animal and he was given with the nice ornaments so that he should look like oils till now he didn't put any oil and now he got oil in his body <laughs> and decorated him with tilak that means red red tilak they put like this tilak and sandalwood pulp and garlands good garlands then they fed him sometimes sometimesly sumptuously that means all varieties all the sweet rice this that all the varieties of food so were given to him he took nicely and then brought him before the goddess kali offering her so then they brought him here and they did puja for the kali first for how to do puja offering her incense lamp garland uh, purchased grain newly grown twigs sprouts fruits and flowers these all things were offered to the kali and in this way they worshiped the deity before killing the man animal and they vibrated songs and prayers and played drums and bugles so these all <laughs> these forest people they have their own songs <laughs> and they, they were singing and playing the drums you might have seen in the movies also this kind of scenes <laughs> then ah uh, <laughs> jadavarata was then made to sit down before the deity so just they brought him and sit down like this because they want to cut <laughs> now <laughs> next अथ वृषलराजपणि पुष पशो अश्रुगा सवेन देवी भद्रकालीम यक्षण तदभिमंत्र तदभिमंत्रित असीम अति कराल निशित उपादे देन आफ्टर दट हू केम दे इन टू दट पिक्चर एट दिस टाइम one of the thieves acting as a chief priest they have priest also eh? those all thieves was ready to offer the blood of jadavarata whom they imagined to be an animal man to the goddess kali to drink as liquor because kali likes to drink the blood and she will sanction whatever you want this is the kali maya puja in bengali it is more prominent in bangladesh also i think Yeah. The wife of the Lord Shiva, huh. as well as she's a devotee. That means she's devotee. So how she taking this milk and meat devotee? I she always takes prasad, na. So how to understand? This Lord Shiva all takes always take prasad, and she's yeah. just wife. She always taking after Lord Shiva. Because of the so guna actually, so Shiva is. is a is in charge for the tamoguna and he is staying in the so you have seen na, that in that uh, diti and kashyapas conversation so he was staying in the in the such a place that which is a dirty place in the smashana and so putting applying so because that is the representation of the so his activities and similarly those are represent but the consciousness if you see shiva is completely pure he is a maha vaishnava so but these activities are just the resembling uh, resembling the their so position that means they are in charge for of the mode of ignorance they are in charge so accordingly they are dressed and accordingly their activities are shown outwardly but inner consciousness is different is completely krishna consciousness somewhere uh, propad mentions that with uh, kali mata uh, uh. his uh, her associates dakini yogini oh. they actually takes uh, blood not kali mata like that kali mata will not drink she will drink and also her companions also they drink dakini this it will be coming in the next she also drank so they want to give uh, they want to kill 
Now Jadavarata, that priest came in front with the sharp knife he brought and just now cut the head of Jadavarata. Ititesham Rushalanam Rajastama Prakrutinam Dana Madaraja Utsit Tamanasam Bhagavat Kala Virakulam Kadardi Krutyot Patena Swairam Viharatam Himsa Viharanam Karmati Dharunam Yat Brahma Buddha Sazakshan Barishasya Nirvayana Sazarva Buddha Durda Sunayam Apyananamata Anan Apyananu Mata um, alab, al, alambanam, the double of Yabramate, the Sati Durvisha, Danda Yamane, Navapusha, Sahaso Chata, Sahaso Chata, Saiva, Daivi, Badrakali. All the rocks and thieves who had made arrangements for the worship of Goddess Kali were low minded and so. Bound to the modes of passion and ignorance. So that's uh, that means Rajasthama Parkrataya Samashila Hawaii Bhajanti Itrubhuta Pradeep Shavaha. That means people who are in the mode of ignorance, they only worship the goddess Kali. <clears throat> Therefore, uh, they were overpowered with the desire to become very rich. Therefore, they had the Audiosity to disobey the injunctions of the Vedas, so much so that they were prepared to kill Jadavarata, a self-realized, self-born, soul-born in Brahmana family. So they are not able to understand the, the glories of the Jadavarata, and but <clears throat> they started giving. So that means they are not at all following the injunctions of the Vedas because they are influenced by the passion and ignorance. Due to their envy, these decoys brought him before the goddess Kali for sacrifice. Such people are always addicted to envious activities. And therefore, they dared to try to kill Jadabharata. Jadabharata was the best friend of all living entities. He was no one's enemy. And he was always absorbed in meditation on supreme personality of Godhead. He was born of a good Brahmana father. And killing him was permitted, even though he might have been an enemy or aggressive person. In any case, there was no reason to kill Jadavarata. That means if Brahmana, if a Brahmana is aggressive or is a, a not a good person, but still he should not be killed. But he is wearing threat, all they are knowing this. They are seeing that Jadavarata is wearing threat, but still they don't have any, so any kind of the, uh, that means following the Vedas. They are not at all caring, caring about the following the Vedas. That means Brahmana should not be killed. Even he is not a, a perfect Brahmana, he should not be killed. That is the rule actually. But they are not violating those principles. So they want to give so Bali of Jadabharata. In any case, there was no reason to kill Jadabharata. And the goddess Kali couldn't bear this. She could immediately understand the understand that the sinful decoys were about to kill the great devotee of the Lord. Suddenly the deities body burst asunder that means in that so kali's body so so she from that deity she came out and the goddess kali personally emerged from it in a body burning with an intense and intolerable effulgence So then, Brusham Amar Sharo Shavesha Rabhasa Villa Sita Brukuti Vita Vitapa Kutila Damstra Runekshana Topati Bayanaka Vadana Hantu Kama Vedam Mahatahasam Ati Sambravena Imun Chanti Tata Utpatya Papi Yasam Dastana Tena Vasena Vikru Vivrukna Sirshnam Galat Sravantam Asruga Savam Atyushnam Sahaganena Nipiyati Panam Mada Vikwala Chehi Staram Saparsha Dehi Sahajagau Nanartacha Vijaharacha Shira Kanduka Lila Ya. 
then intolerant of offenses committed the infuriated goddess kali flashed her eyes and displayed her fierce covered teeth so her reddish eyes glowed and she displayed her fearsome fe features she assumed a so frightening frightening body as if she were prepared to destroy the entire creation so leaping violently from the altar she immediately decap decapitated all the rogues and thieves with very sword with which they had intended to kill jadabharata she took that that knife that sword which should be used to kill the jadabharata she took same thing and she chopped off all the heads of these decoits so follow uh, she then began to she then began to drink the hot blood that flowed from the necks of the beheaded rocks and thieves she also drank and what she did and her associates as if this blood was were liquor gum garam garam blood jab so whenever it is coming out from all these people she took those and she drank as a liquor indeed she drank this intoxicant with her associates who were witches and female demons becoming intoxicated with this blood they all began to sing very loudly and dance has the prepared to annihilate the entire universe all these so kali maya and all others so just to having this dakini lankini these that all this <laughs> they were drinking all the bread <laughs> and shouting loudly they are shouting at the same time and also they be began to play with the heads of the rocks and thieves they are so kandukena iva like the ball they are throwing the heads <laughs> catch <laughs> yeah <laughs> like baseball <laughs> at the same time they began to play with the heads of the rocks and thieves tossing them about if they were balls so evam eva kalu mahadabicari takramaha karsne karsne atmane falati when an envious person commits an offense before a great personality he is always punished in the way mentioned above yeah this is the incident actually we can see so purport will see actually i forgot in the purport of it it is evident from this verse that devotees of god is kali are not at all favored by her it is god is kali's work to kill and punish the demons god is kali engages in decapitating many demons decoits and other unwanted elements in society neglecting krishna consciousness foolish people to try to satisfy the goddess by offering her many abominable things but ultimately when there is a little discrepancy in the, his this worship the goddess punishes the worshiper by taking his life demonic people worship goddess kali to begin to obtain some material benefit but they are not excused of the sins performed in the name of worship so actually yeah so people who are in the mode of ignorance they used to so worship the goddess kali kali and they used to give the animal sacrifice whenever you give so so killing of any animal as sacrifice then in the next life you should be killed by that animal you are accepting mam sam that means mam sa means so you should kill me in the next life and you are eating that flesh and that also is regulated actually on the amavasya day and the midnight 12 o'clock with the uh, with the some rituals then only you can kill and eat the animal and also you are promising that in the next life you will be allowing that animal to kill you so but not that the nowadays how how the meat is supplied just they are going to the butcher shops and people just they are purchasing the flesh so this is not the right way you should take the vow that means in the next life you kill me then only you are allowed to do that that's why by seeing these rules and regulations nobody will be doing dare to kill the animals and eat because such a risk you should do next evam khalu mahad abicharita kramah karsnena atmane falati when an envious person commits an offense before a great personality he is always punished in the way mentioned above last 
न वेतद विष्णुदत्त महद्भुत यद असंभ्रम स्वशिश्छेदने आपति विमुक्तहात्म सुदृढ़ हृदय ग्रंथीना सर्वसत्सुहृदात्म आत्मना निर्वैराण साक्षा भगव भगवता निमिषारिवरायुधेना प्रमत्न तैस्तर्भाव पिरक्षम तत्दमूल अकुतस्चिदयपसृता भागवत परम हंसा सुखदेव गोस्वामी देन सेट टू महाराज परीक्षित ओ विष्णुदत्ता दोज हू आलरेडी नो दट द सोल इज सपरेट फ्रॉम दि बॉडी हू आर लिबरेटेड फ्रॉम दि इन इनविन्सिबल not of not in the heart who are always engaged in welfare activities for all living entities and who never contemplate harming anyone are always protected by supreme personality of godhead so write the question so who are protected by the supreme personality of the godhead विमुक्त देहाद्यात्मा भाव सुदृढ़ हृदय ग्रंथी नाम सर्वसत्व सुहृदात्मा निर्वैराण साक्षा भगवता निमिषारिवरायुधेन अप्रमत्न सो सो दिस काइंड ऑफ पर्सन इज प्रोटेक्टेड एक्चुअली सो हू एवर इज हैविंग दिस दिस क्वालिटीज लॉर्ड विल बी प्रोटेक्टिंग देम सो टू मार्क्स ओके who carries his disk so next who engaged in the welfare activities for all living entities and who never contemplate harming anyone are always protected by the supreme personality of god who carries his disk and acts as a supreme time to kill the demons and protect his devotees the devotees always take shelter at the lotus feet of the lord therefore at all times even if threatened by decapitation they remain unhesitated for them this is not at all wonderful so because she is a vaishnavi so and when vaishnava is being killed so a vaishnavi definitely will not be bearing that so that's why she killed all those offenders there are some of the great qualities of a pure devotee of the supreme personality of god at first a devotee is firmly convinced of his spiritual identity he never identifies with the body he is firmly convinced that the spirit soul is different from body devotees are always dependent write a question hmm describe the surrenderings of jadavarata because you can see his surrenderings how it was he was not at all interested in gaining the material education karma kanda to be settled in his life he rejected that then after that whatever that means family members and others relatives and other village people whatever they are giving so he is accepting and he is not at all showing any aversion towards them and fully surrendered and whatever is available so he is eating so whatever the wages through wages and through the donations and he is fully so surrendered on the lord and always thinking about the lord and then after that when these so decoits attack that means approached him to take and he never pro- tried to protect his uh, himself from these decoits and even that means he prepared and now about to kill but still so like this you should mention is this this will be can- carrying the five marks okay the end the bhakti vedanta purports of the fifth canto ninth chapter of the shrimad bhagavata entitled the supreme character of jadavarata okay we will finish today's class here okay mujhe bhi neend aa raha hai actually ha carry till 
carry on tell me ठीक है तब तो तो next chapter also like this only only just a story no discussion much ah uh, till there only i will i will stop till ninth shloka i will do till eighth shloka and after that tomorrow we'll do because discussion is coming so now then after the story this just is the story only after that what happened that means he escaped from the kali that means kali killed everyone and jadabharata was uh, that means escape that means kali saved him then what happened si sukha vacha अत सिंधु सौवीर पते रघुगण से व्रजत ईक्षमुतटे तत्कुपति शिबिकावाषाण्वेशेण सैवेनोपसाजित स द्विजवर उपलब्धेश पीता युवा संहननांगो गोकर बद्धुर वोड़ वोड़ुम अलम पूर्वीष्ट गृहीत सह गृहीत प्रसभ महत प्रसभम अत अतदर्हुवाहादेव गोस्वामी कंटिन्ड मै डियर किंग आफ्टर दिस किंग रहुगण रूलर ऑफ दि स्टेट नोन एज सिंधु अंड सौवीरा वाज गोइंग टू कपिलाश्रम वन द किंग्स चीफ पॉलकिन पालंक्विन कैरियर्स रीच द बैंक ऑफ द रिवर इक्षुमती they needed another carrier therefore they began searching for someone and by chance they they came upon jadavarata so they consider the fact that jadavarata was very young and strong and had firm limbs so for these people also <laughs> we see jadavarata they felt wow this is right person to carry this palanquin ले लो इसको टीम में जस्ट टेक हिम यू आल्सो इन द टीम सो लाइक लाइक काउस एंड एसेस ही वाज क्वाइट फिट टू कैरी लोड्स thinking in this way although the great soul jadabharata was unfit for such work although the great soul jadabharata was unfit for such work but because great soul because he is a realized soul and he should not be engaged in such a so cheap activities they nonetheless unhesitatingly force him to carry the palanquin the else people also not able to understand glory of the jadabharata and engaged him also in carrying the palanquin then yada hi diji varasyesham अमुत्रवलोकाघतेर्नासमाहिताषगतिस्तुषानदेहताहेहोढ़ारहसाध्वतिक्रमताकिमितिषमुख्यतेमिति the palankin however was very erratically carried by jadabharata due to his sense of non violence that means <laughs> see <laughs> then jadabharata was engaged to carry palankin then how he was carrying you see <laughs> as he stepped forward he checked before so him every 3 feet to see whether he was about to step on a ant <laughs> consequently he couldn't keep pace with the other carriers due to this the palankin was shaking and king rahagana immediately asked the carriers why are you carrying this palankin unevenly better carry it properly <laughs> jadavarta when he was carrying He is seeing for three weeks. Is there any ant or not? No. Then he is put. <laughs> All three people are walking rushingly, and he is walking very slowly. So that's why there is jerk actually. There is obviously there is jerk. 
So Parput, although Jadabharata was a force to carry the palanquin, he didn't give up his sympathetic feeling toward the poor ants passing on the road. A devotee of the Lord doesn't forget his devotional service and other favorable activities, even when he is in a most distressful condition. Jadabharata was qualified Brahmana, highly elevated in spiritual knowledge, yet he was forced to carry the palanquin. He didn't mind this, but while walking on the road, he couldn't forget his duty to avoid killing even an ant. A Vaishnava is never envious or unnecessarily violent. There were many ants on the path, but Jadabharata took care by looking ahead three feet. When the ants were no longer in, this, in his way, he would place his foot on the ground. A Vaishnava is always very kind at heart to all living entities. In his Sankhya Yoga, Lord explains, Suhruda Sarva Dehinam. So, write the question, explain the quality of a Vaishnava. From from purport of 5.10.2. So, how many marks? Three marks. Consequently, the Vaishnava takes care not to annihilate untimely or unnecessarily any life from. All living entities have to, full, to fulfill a certain duration for being engaged in a particular type of material body. They have to finish the duration allotted. Next, Ataha Ishwara Vachaha Sopalamba Mupa Karnyopa Yutur Yachankita Manastam Vigna Payam Babu When the palanquin carriers heard the threatening words of Maharaj Raghuna, they became very afraid of his punishment and began to speak to him as follows. Navayam Naradeva Pramataha, Bhavan Niyamanu Pataha, Sadveva Vahamaha, Ayam Adhuneva Niyuktopi, Nadrutam Rajati, Nane Nasaha Vodumha, Vayam Parayama Iti. So then, that means Raghana was shouting, Why the carrier is not so properly carried? What is happening? Then, so all the other carriers, then the Jadabharat, <coughs> were so saying like this, O oh Lord. Please note that we are not at all negligent in discharging our duties. We have been faithfully carrying this palanquin according to your desire. But this man who has been recently engaged to work with us cannot walk very swiftly. Therefore, we are not able to carry the palanquin with him. So other three, pal the three carriers, they complained on Jadavarat. Next, Sam Sargiko Dosha Eva, Nona make us have a servation. Sam Sargikanam Bavitamarhati, it in his chitya nishamya, Krupuna Vacho Raja, Grahugana, Upasito Rudopi, Nisargena, Balat Kruta, Ishad Uttitam. <coughs> Uttitam Manyur Avispashta Brahma Tejasam Jata Vedasam Iva Rajasa Vruta Matiraha. Then King Rahugana could understand the speeches given by the carriers who are afraid of being punished. He could also understand that simply. Due to the fault of one person, the falanquin was not being carried properly. Knowing this perfectly well and hearing their appeal, he became a little angry, although he was very advanced in political science and was very experienced. His anger arose due to his inborn nature as a king. Actually, King Rahugana's mind was covered by the mode of passion and he therefore spoke as follows to Jadabharata. 
whose brahmana effulgence was not clearly visible being covered like a fire covered by ashes so see draugana was also not able to understand the glory of the jadavarata and very roughly he spoke actually with him so you can see how roughly he dealt king draugana the jadavarata aho kashtam bratar brata bratar vyaktamuru parishanto dirghamadvanam ekayeva uhi ऊहिवान सुचिरम नाति पीवा न ना संगना नंगो जरजा चोद्रमो भगवान सग सखे नो एवा पर संघट्टि इति बहु विप्रलब्धोप्य विद्यया रचित द्रव्य गुण कर्माशय स्वचरण कम कलेवरे वस्तुनि संस्थान विशेषे हम ममेन अध्यारोपितम अध्यारोपित मिथ्या प्रत्ययो ब्रह्म भूत स्तूष्णी शरीर तो बहुत मोटा तो है शरीर योर बॉडी इज सो फिट योर मजिल्स आर वेरी नाइस एंड एवरीथिंग इज वेरी वेल शेप्ड फुल फिटनेस इज देयर यू सर्टेनली अपीयर्ड वेरी फैटिग बिकॉज़ यू हैव कैरीड दिस पालंग क्वीन अलोन विदाउट असिस्टेंस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम एंड फॉर अ लॉन्ग डिस्टेंस You are certainly you are appeared very fatigued because you have carried this palanquin alone, alone with assistance for a long time and for a long distance. That means sarcastically. अच्छा अकेला ढो रहे हैं क्या तुम? Like that. बहुत दूर ढो दिया तुम? अकेला भी ढो लीजिए. वाह वाह भाई. So like that. <laughs> so he was just. so sarcastically it's not appreciation actually it's very sarcastically said so besides that due to your old age you have become greatly troubled my dear friend i see that you are not very firm not very strong and stout and he's <laughs> he's telling in a reverse way my dear friend i see that you are not very firm acha acha bahut that means he is saying that you are so weak so that's why you are not able to carry this palanquin nicely and not very strong and stout aren't your fellow carriers cooperating with you i think there is no mistake with you i think your fellow carriers are not cooperating with you that is the problem i think in this way the king criticized jadabharata with sarcastic words at despite being criticized in this way jadabharata had no bodily conception of the situation he knew that he was not the body for he had attained his spiritual identity he was neither fat lean nor thin nor had he anything to do with the lump of matter a combination of five gross and three subtle elements actually what is the opinion of the jadabharata is completely different actually Jadavarata is as well not at all bothering his words. Eh? Whatever you want to say, say. Because Jadavarata knows that. So this body is completely a lump of matter which is made up of eight elements. He had nothing to do with material body and its two hands and legs. In other words, he had completely relied his spiritual identity. Aham Brahmasmi. he was therefore unaffected by this sarcastic criticism from the king without saying anything he continued carrying the palanquin as before hmm when commentary is there commentary is there prabhu ha huh? big commentary
maybe dialogues he 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 made them huh? but as everything is translation is written like that only अच्छा बिग कमेंट्री इज बट इट इज ओके सेम थिंग एक्चुअली वॉट एवर इज इन इंग्लिश इट इज ए दट इज जस्ट ट्रांसलेशन इज ओनली द कमेंट्री एक्चुअली सो नो नीड टू एक्स इट्स नॉट फिलासफिकल कमेंट्री इट इज जस्ट डायलॉग्स सिचुएशन इज एक्सप्लेन Uh, just like uh, we discuss, we'll discuss how is uh, like that self realization, uh. body and soul separate other things. Yeah. Whether is mentioned somewhere particularly, uh. he was pure devotee in the sense like that, always meditating in Lord on past times of Lord, or like Brahman realized soul. I am Brahmasmi. Yeah, I am not this body. I am soul. No, no. In the previously, in the previous chapter, we have seen uh. he is always meditating on the Lord. The meditating Lord that means like his past Div times, like it's a devotee. Yes. Yes. He's a purely devotee. Because here is in the previous Gyan, chapter, it is there. Here is Gyan part will be coming, just like now. It is said a devotee are not so much after Gyan. Just no, no, no. Yeah. Soul that is in. Yes, yes. In the previous uh, sloka, in the previous chapter, in one place it is mentioned actually. In second sloka, na. Ah. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. probably uh, that mm. uh, uh, jadavara maharaj was uh, remembering because of in the previous birth he was in uh, deer and he could have remember krishna now what is that bro can you speak loudly in the in the previous in the previous birth, mike mike uh. in the previous birth he was uh, in a uh, living entity as in uh, as a birth of as a birth of deer no kya yeah. In the previous, in the previous birth. Ah, dear body. Yes. So he could remain, and he was in the ashram of uh, Atramuni. Pulas. Uh, yeah, Pulas Ashramuni. Ah. So there he uh, he get uh, the devotional uh, bhakti, and and then he, and then he got the new birth in this birth. No, no. He is from the beginning. He is devotee. When he was Maras, Bharat Maras was devotee only, but just to increase his intense, to intensify his devotion. so lord has given this that means forgetfulness that means attraction for the deer so that is just lord's arrangement but he didn't become devotee by being in ashram but he became he was devotee from the beginning only even when he was ruling his kingdom at that time also he was devotee pure devotee ठीक है आप बाद में पूछिए प्रभु जी बोलेंगे आप सो यू सी हियर विथ इन ही वॉज ऑलवेज Sloka number three. Ah, in the ninth chapter, five point nine point three. So pratigatam ashankama na ha. Okay, aski pehle karma bandha bandha vidvam sana shravana smarana guna vivarana charana ravinda yugalam manasa vidadat atmana ha pratigatam. आशंकमानो भगवदनुग्रहेण अनुस्मृत स्वपूर्वजन्म आवली आत्मा सो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एस्टाब्लिश जडभरता इज 
is also that means of course bharat maharaj pure devotee we established you can establish so jada bharata is nothing but bharat maharaj only as a pure devotee for this what you should where you should focus write the question is this question is not made na jada bharata is established jada bharata is is a pure devotee given na but दोनों मिलके टेन मार्क्स डिफरेंटली टेन दोनों मिलके भी टेन चलेगा लेकिन मेहनत ज्यादा मार्क्स कम आएगा नहीं नहीं इंडिविजुअली यस इंडिविजुअली In this karma bandha vidvam sana shavana adikam yasita dhabhutan charanara vindam visheshena tadadat loka se loka. That means he jadabharata is always meditating on the lotus feet of the lord so that's why this is the 24 hours he is remembering the lord that is ananya bhakti so ananya bhakti means doing 24 hours direct devotion with favorable mood for the for the pleasing the lord so this is satisfied okay and what else that means to establish jada bharata dependency also surrenderance you can mention some points from surrenderance the way he surrendered to the lord from this also you can establish because surrenderance is the entry door for ananya bhakti if one is doing ananya bhakti means he should be a surrendered soul so that's why by establishing jada bharata's surrenderance you are establishing he is a qualified ananya bhakta okay that also should establish already i gave one question so establish jada bharata is a surrender uh, describe the the surrenderance of jada bharata huh? that a question i given uh, five marks so if you that means if you you are establishing surrenderance of jada bharata means sar sharanapati is the entry door for ananya bhakti so that means you are automatically establishing ananya bhakta bhakti also that's why you should take that point out so do you see that means jada bharata is a gnani jada bharata is not a gnani gnana is not mixed in him so he is always meditating on the lotus feet of the lord so then outwardly ajigara vritti like rishabadev also followed ajigara vritti eh? so just sitting in one place whatever is thrown on his side he is accepting that and passing stool there only urine also passing there and not cleaning nothing just this ajigara vritti so jada bharata is also like that whatever that means he doesn't have any that means bodily so demands and also he is not thinking that i am not body i am brahman no that is not there he completely neglected all other things only so focusing on what on the remembering the lotus feet of the lord manasa vidadhat means always he is doing this so that's why we should not see the gnana angle of the jada bharata if you made he is doing practicing gnana then he can you are defeating his ananya bhakti ananya bhakti will be finished 
Ananya Bhakti will become the mixed with the Gnana, then it is Gnana Mishra Bhakti it will become. But that is not the goal for us. That is not the uh, thing which should not happen. Bharat Maharaj, and I, do, I don't know the dead Bharat also, giving it is Gyan Mishra Bhakta. So, Sanatan Goswami or somebody quoting, do you aware of this also, you know? No, no. Vishwanath established, established na, yesterday, day before yeah, yesterday. Because we yesterday established, na, mm, Ananya so, Bhakti is one devotee was listening, mentioning. Because uh, there's a story behind that past time, there uh, Baldeva with the Bhushan's commentary and Bhagavad Gita, Sarodharman Parteja, there it is a, a Parnishtit Bhakta, Swanishta Bhakta, and Nirpech Bhakta. So somebody is, is doing, setting the example for set up just Varnasram, other things, na? like that. He will go to Paramatma realization he, because his duties are not after setting the. the those, so do you read, uh, have some things, idea? So I was thinking we also discussed here. He is setting the example, but he is not like his Ananda Bhakti is not lost. So in case of Bharat Maharaj. No, no, he is not setting any example. Setting example means you should follow the Swarnasham system. That he did, Bharat Maharaj did that. Bharat Maharaj did, but Jada Bharata didn't do. No, no, I am question asking. Although Bharat Maharaj setting example did, but he was Ananda Bhakta, na, Bharat Maharaj. Yes. So you. you just like Janak Maharaj, they are setting example. Yeah, Bharat Maharaj is, is, is you can take, but not Jada Bharata. I'm not asking about Jada Bharata. I'm yeah, asking yeah. Bharat Maharaj. Yeah. Jada Bharata's case, so we should not consider that he is a Gnana Mishra Bhakta. No. Or also, so already Bharat Maharaj Ananya Bhakta, then how, so in the life of Jada Bharata, he will become, so Karma Mishra Bhakta or Gnana Mishra Bhakta. No. So I don't know from where you are saying, you can bring that. I can see, but it's clearly that means if you see the activities of the Jada Bharata, it's clearly visible that he's always meditating on the lotus feet of the Lord. And he's not bothering other things. It's not, that means he's neglecting other things on not the level of the Gnana, on the strength of the Gnana, he's not rejecting, but being a devotee, he's rejecting actually. When Bhakti Sandarva was there, na, discussion to Brahma Bhuta Prasan Natamana Sochati Nikanchati. So that was we discussed uh, this doesn't this words doesn't apply for duty. Duty is just like uh, uh, this is for Gyani Bhakta, Brahma Bhuta Prasan Natama. So uh, because uh, he is not uh, separate like that, I'm this different from body and other things. Here, although uh, he is a pure duty, uh, Jad Bharata. And he's not Gyani Bhakta, but he has a knowledge and everything is telling that like the body and soul and yeah, that he will tell to Rahugana because so to teach Ananya Bhakti, one can use the Gnana beginning. That is a is realization. Yeah. So if I am teaching so third class syllabus, it doesn't mean that I am a third class, I know only that much. So if if someone is doing already did PhD. He can teach to the LKG also, LKG class also. It doesn't mean that he is having only LKG knowledge. So that is different actually. By teaching, we cannot establish what is his bhakti. So just by teaching, but what is the behavior he is having? So we can. So like you see, Roshabadev is discussing about the Gnana, Vairagya and also Bhakti. Gnana, Vairagya and Bhakti all. That means how to cut the that means what? Linga Deham. That means that is nothing but Ahankara. He was discussing, focusing on that mainly. He, he taught Karma Gnana Mishra Bhakti. Sorry, Gnana Mishra Bhakti. So, but it doesn't mean that the uh, Rishabhadev is the uh, door of the Gnana Mishra Bhakti. No. That, that is not going to establish actually. But his conclusions of his teachings is Ananya Bhakti that we already established. That anyway, you should write the question on that, answer for that. <coughs> and now, uh, so uh, Jada Bharata will teach to Rahugana all the left and right Gnana so much. But he is not Gnani actually. Jada Bharata is not a Gnani, he is a pure devotee only.
So Brahmabhuta Prasannatma, whatever is there. So who will become Brahmabhuta Prasanna? That means devotee. That means Brahmabhuta Prasannatma, so it is in a Kangshati. So Madhbhaktim Labate Paramgati. Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu. So Madhbhaktim Labate Paramgati. So that means whoever is trying. So these people in our diagram, if you see. In our diagram, huh? yeah, without this diagram, whoever is Jivan Mukta. That means Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochatina Kangshti means he is a Jivan Mukta, a completely liberated soul. And he is seeing everything as, as one. That means, so initially he is, he is what? Nirguna Nirvisha Chinmatar Satta, ending also Nirguna Nirvisha Chinmatar Satta. In between, you see, are seeing variety. That variety is nothing but illusion. So, with this conception, so he will be rejecting all the varietyness and he is fully situated in the Brahma Gnanam and seeing everything as Brahman. So such a person, if he wants to merge into the Brahman, what he needs to merge into the Brahman, he needs the, so he needs to put his consciousness on Brahman, meditate his mind on the Brahman. But that he, he is not able to put just without, without goodness, it is not possible. So to fix his consciousness on Brahman, he needs bhakti. So, whenever he, that means he is using the tool of the bhakti. So, if he uses this bhakti as a tool and so he will be, by that also he can go. Or otherwise, sometimes when he is using this bhakti at that time, he is getting association of the devotees. And if he can come to know that this bhakti is, is more tasty, then he will be developing shraddha to the bhakti and then so he is getting the full shraddha in the bhakti because already his heart is purified. Now he realizes the glory of the bhakti also because without doing the bhakti, I am not able to put my consciousness on Brahman means. So bhakti is so magnanimous and why don't I practice bhakti? Then that kind of person, Brahma Bhuta Prasannatma Nasochati Nakangshati Sama Sarveshu Bhuteshu Mad Bhaktim Labate Param Gatim. Then he will once again, he will very quickly. Even just like uh, Jad Bharat is a devotee. Huh. My so, uh, Jad Bharat is a pure devotee uh -huh. and following the Bhakti Marg process, not Jnana Marg process, yes. this process. Uh -huh. So, that means whose devotee what uh, following the process of bhakti marga mm -hmm. that brahman realization is included we should know mm -hmm. uh, they are not only brahman realization they are ahead more than ahead mm -hmm. that's why he's giving knowledge to hear not just bhakti because although he can could give knowledge experience but his rahuna is not that level he's giving brahman realization oh that is different actually so, so devotees uh, being a devotee he can have all the knowledge that's not a so that is the point that means that, that is there. There. Because that means Vasudeva Sarvamiti Samahatma Sdurlava. That means they know everything is Vasudeva and Vasudeva includes everything. So because it was so much tag of the struggle, na, then Bhakti Sandrava discussion, na, yeah. it was thinking this day doesn't come the devotee's life, Brahman realization. But Brahman realization is we know he included. That means he has these things. <coughs> so next. Uh, so how sarcastically he is saying so their servants they said this person is not properly carrying with us
Hmm. Which one? Uh, established Jadabartha is a pure devotee. Yes, two chapters, nine and ten. For establishing Bharata Maharaj, five, six, and uh, five, six, seven, and eight. And before that, Privrata, Agnidra, Nabi. Uh, analyze these three devotees' devotion. Initially, how they were, and after that, how they uh, come to the pure devotion. Some came, Privrata also. Initially, he was already Atma Ram by birth, and also he is pure devotee because of association of Narada. And he about to enter into the fully into the diksha of, of what kind of diksha, remembering Krishna all the time. But by the time father came and stopped everything, then he enjoyed with Bharishmati. Then he realized. <laughs> So then what happened at that time, consciousness? And then after that, he was speaking, what is this? It's like a dead body. This wife, Parishmati, is like a dead body. And why he felt like dead body. That by seeing dead body, will anyone get sex feeling? No, no, same way. So no feelings, nothing, hurt. So he was remembering the way, oh my. So I lost my Gurudev's association. Let me go back. Even after 11 crore years, he enjoyed and finally realization is <laughs> zero realization from the gross life. Huh? Better to go to the beginning where he stopped, there only he went and he started yeah. devotion. So from this, it's not that they, to make Barishmati devotee, he stayed there and Barishmati also became devotee and all his family members became devotee and they all went to <laughs> into the forest. <laughs> Why such a pure devotee? Huh? He went alone. Uh -huh. He left Bharishma. Yeah. But Agnidra, Agnidra case, anyway, he was carrying. <laughs> he went to Purvachitti's planet. Uh, that's Pitruloka he went, where Purvachitti stays. So he, because he was having so much, that's all. His devotion is that much one. Before it was some little bit, but he got attacked. But Nabi, Nabi along with his wife, he went. So what is, what is the name of Nabi's wife? Meru Devi. Yeah, along with Meru Devi, he went to the forest. Because he was not having, initially he was not at all a devotee, karmakand, that means he was having materialistic desires. So out of materialistic desire, he worshipped. You see Nabi's case. So he engaged Ritviks. He engaged Ritviks to do Yajna and Lord appeared. And what he was desiring, Nabi was desiring. So Lord as a son. That means he wants similar son like Lord. So then from this, all Ritviks, what they are saying, this... Our king is so, <laughs> so materialistic person and he is desiring material desire. Please, he's a fool, but still, you please bestow this boon. From this, you should bring out the points. How Nabi, Nabi is, Nabi's devotion. Then after that, Nabi realized actually. If you see his lifestyle, then after that, he realized and he became devotee also, purely. That is there in the next section, in that continuation of discussion. Okay, that you should establish there. You write it. Yes, Babu. 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 Yes, अरे ब्रदर क्या हो गया क्या हुआ भाई सिक्स्थ और फिफ्थ व्हाट इज दैट कुछ इस बात का वेरिएशन कर क्रिटिसाइज्ड दैट मेंस या सरकास्टिकली क्रिटिसाइज्ड सेवेन और एट विल डू ओके आता पुनः स्वासिबिका आयाम विषम गता आयाम 
प्रकुपित उवाच रहुगण किम इदम अरे मैंने रे 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 री आलो ही वॉज यूजिंग रे री रे अरे तम जीवन मृत वदर्दी भर्तृशासन मतिचरसी प्रमत्व चाते कौमी चिकित्सा दंडपाणिवा जनता प्रकृति स्वाम भजिष्य सौगणस अभी रघुगण को मिलेगा दोष रघुगण हाउ ईज रेस्पॉन्डिंग यू सी हाउ ईज शौटिंग ऑन जडभर्त सी देर आफ्टर when the king saw that his palankin was still being shaken by carriers he became very angry and said you rascal what are you doing are you dead despite the life within our body your body jeevan murtaha mar gaya kya tum do you not know that i am your master you are disregarding me and are not carrying out my order for this disobedience i shall now punish you just as amaraj the superintendent of death punishes sinful people i shall give you proper treatment so that you will come to your senses and do the correct thing maybe vishwanath chakra thakur gave dialogues but these dialogues are important when you see the reply from the jadabharata so at that time these dialogues you should remember the way as so the way raugana scolded those dialogues we need there so that's why you just remember the dialogues how he scolded that means i am your master you are not knowing this these things are important then he will be crashing whatever ignorance raugana is having on that he is attacking because before teaching the ananya bhakti so we need to first you can use the basic gnana that's why he is using basic gnana what is atma paramatma everything he explains evam bahva buddham api bhashamanam naradeva abhimanam rajasa tamasanu vidhena madena tiraskruta shesha bhagavat priya niketam panditamaninam sa bhagavan brahmano brahma bhuta sarva bhuta surudatma yogeshwara charyayam nati vyutpannavatim smayamahana iva vigatasmaya idam aha thinking himself a king king rahugana was in the bodily conception and was influenced by material nature's modes of passion and ignorance due to the due to madness he chastised jadabharata with uncalled for and contradictory words jadabharata was a topmost duty and the dear abode of the supreme personality of godhead although considering himself very learned the king didn't know about the position of an advanced devotee situated in devotional service nor did he know his characteristics jadabharata was the residence of the supreme personality of godhead he always carried the form of the lord within his heart he was the dear friend of all living beings and he didn't certain any bodily conception he therefore smiled and spoke the following words So actually, Jadavarata is carrying Lord in his lotus, a uh, Lord's lotus feet in his heart, and he is always in that consciousness. And he, but Rahugana engaged him in carrying the palankin and chastised him so much. Then after hearing this, so chastisement from the Rahugana, how this Brahmana, this Jadavarata replied that we are going to discuss in tomorrow's class. so next suhrudaha swarvadehinam sometimes a vaishnava becomes superficially angry at a non devotee but this is not for the non devotee this is but this is good for non devotees we have several examples in the vedic literature once narada became angry with the two sons of kuvera nala kuvera and manigriva and he chastised so that means getting angry you can see in the case of whom madhyam adhikari arthi uttama मध्यम अधिकारी और उत्तम अधिकारी एंग्रील भी इतनी मध्यम अधिकारी विल गेट एंग्री 
மத்தியம் அதிகாரி வெளிநாட்டு கட்டணி ஆங்கிரி டஜன் ஸ்வேங்கர் வில் ஸ்வேங்கர் உத்தம வில் ஸ்வோ யா ஓகே டுமாரோ ஐ வில் டிஸ்கஸ் தட் ஓகே the devotee is situated on the absolute platform and when he is an angry or pleased there is no difference okay thank you very much to prabhupada ki jai